South African scientists recently disclosed the discovery of a new COVID-19 variant codenamed Omicron, which the World Health Organization has described as a variant of concern. At the 37th COVID-19 public briefing at State House, the health minister indicated that the new COVID-19 variant appears to be particularly widespread in the Comas region. We have isolated 18 out of 19 samples. The other one is a Delta, which will then uh, tell us that Omicron seems in commas is the, the, the predominant variant. Now, you have seen when we have the Delta virus, the, the infection rate was increasing very fast and people were getting hospitalized and in actual fact caused a lot of death. We also take into consideration that during that time, very, very few people have been vaccinated. Now, we are seeing cases of breakthrough. Now, with the Omicron, you have high number of, of cases, but you have very, very few people who are being uh, ad, ad, admitted. That may, it may still be early, but that is our observation currently. The head of state also stated that while there is no immediate justification for the government to impose stringent measures to stop the virus from spreading, the government may announce new stricter measures to combat COVID-19 on December 15, 2021, based on the evolving health situation and public behavior. There are all kinds of pressure groups. You are lucky you to come and ask us direct questions. There are others who will say, Business people may say, be careful, we are already suffering. Drastic action may be, will destroy us. Others are saying, lock it down. Nobody must move. And others are saying, well, I have a wedding. It's true, it can be done. Please don't lock it down before my wedding. That's how far it goes, that people are free to try to make their proposals. We have to weigh all these possibilities. And therefore, if we think it's endangering the lives of our citizens, we wouldn't hesitate to call you tomorrow even if we get more information to take drastic action. But who is happy to punish people? It shouldn't look like a punishment. We are trying to educate to say this disease is bad. Let's voluntarily cooperate. But if people don't want to hear that and endanger the lives of the others, we have to take action. That's the idea. But not the harsh action, not the rush action, not to panic in the face of some kind of danger. But to be cool, but when we take the action, it will be in the interest of the country. Country, not particular individuals. Country. Less than 20% of the population has been vaccinated and the president has urged individuals to get vaccinated, saying that it is highly regrettable that the government is forced to destroy in excess of 150,000 vaccines which have reached expiry date because those who are eligible are refusing to be vaccinated.